Hello guys, you're welcome again to Nii Tech Tips and it's nice to have you back on my channel. In today's video, we'll be looking at how to downgrade WordPress installation to an older version. So as you might have known, um, WordPress released an update about a few days ago. Uh, that is the WordPress 5.7. So probably there are some features in the 5.7 update that you are not really uh, finding interesting on your website and you wish to uh, downgrade your WordPress installation to an older version, here's how to go about it. So before I proceed to show you how to downgrade your WordPress, I'd like, to, I'd like you to take some precautionary measure and the first thing you need to do is to make sure that your website is back up. You can back up your website locally to your PC or you can as well use the backup um, feature or backup functionality that is made available in your cPanel provided that your web hosting provider uh, makes a provision for um, a daily backup for you. So just make sure that you have your website backed up um, to avoid any form of complications. Come to the plugin section then click on installed plugins. So what we'll be doing here is to um, we want to deactivate all of the plugins on the website so I'll just click on select all to select all of the plugins on the website then I'll click on book action deactivate then you want to deactivate the plugins on the website as well so once you have done that you are now ready to downgrade your WordPress website to an older version. So the next thing we need to do is to click on hard new. Basically, there are several ways that you can um, downgrade your WordPress version. You can downgrade your WordPress uh, manually uh, via the cPanel area. Uh, but basically, I'll be using uh, the simplest method, which is through um, a particular plugin. That is the WP. Okay, so that is via the WP downgrade plugin. So next we click on install now. And then we just hang around for the plugin to be installed on our website. So guys, don't mind my internet. It's a little bit slow. Okay, now um, the plugin is installed on the website. We just click on activate. okay so the plugin is now activated and we are ready to proceed to the next thing um which is uh the main thing which is a uh, downgrading our uh, wordpress version so we come to uh settings here this is where we can assess the functionality of the plugin as you can see right on the list you can see wp downgrade so just click on that Okay, so we are now on the interface of the plugin where we can make a downgrade, where we can perform a downgrade to any of the previous version of WordPress that would like to switch to. But guys, I will advise that you don't go um, you don't go beyond two previous versions of WordPress to be on the safer side. So basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at the very version that we'd like to downgrade to. So in order to do that, just come right here and click on the WP releases. It opens a link to the WordPress.org website where you have an update of all of the releases of WordPress. As you can see, recently that was on March 9th, we have the 5.7 version and um, in February 20, uh, 22nd, we have the 5.6.2 version. And then February 3rd, we have the 5.6.1 version. And 5.6 uh, version came about in 8th of December last year. So basically, um, if you are looking to downgrade to probably 5.6.2 or 5.7, um, sorry, 5.6.2 or 5.6, all you need to do is just copy 
you know this particular version or you just you know come to your um to the plugin interface right here then you want to type out the particular version that you like to then create your wordpress version to so that's the 5.6.2 version so once we are done installing no space uh no space in the front no space at the back so we just uh, type out the particular version that we like to downgrade to just like um, we have in the um, instruction here it says exact version number from wp releases for example 4.9.8 leave empty to disable so because it's empty that is why we have this inactive so once we stick in the particular version that we like to uh, downgrade to we just go ahead and click on save changes save changes so once we save the changes you see that um, our wordpress is downgraded to an older version let me just perform that so that you guys can see what i'm really talking about so as you can see right here it says wp downgrade active uh, WordPress 5.6.2 is set as your target version so th there is a kind of one it says you are using this plugin entirely at your own risk do make sure that you have a current backup of both your files and database since the manual version change is deeply affecting your WP installation so um, I haven't seen the warning we just go ahead with the downgrade and to do that we need to click on this as you can see in order to perform the upgrade or downgrade to wp 5.6.2 please go to update core so we just click on this okay so as you can see our current version which is the most recent update is um our wordpress 5.7 and now we are about to uh, downgrade to 5.6.2 so i'll just click on this one as you can see this is really breaking my site up which is why guys i recommended that you have a backup of you know of your website before you uh, go about downgrading your wordpress version so that you can avoid any form of complication on your website so successfully we are now downgraded back to wordpress 5.6.2 so if you if you are done with um, uh, the version if you are done with the wordpress installation version probably you need to tidy up on some things or probably you need to update your um, um, php version and all that before you can move on to the latest version of php whatever it is you have to do once you are done and you want to upgrade to the latest version of wordpress all you have to do is just come back to the plugin there are two ways to go about that firstly you can come back to the plugin right here under settings you just come to wp downgrade again okay so once we're on the interface we're, we're going to just do the same thing by entering the most recent version as seen on the releases page as you can see the most uh, recent version is the 5.7 version which was released on 9th of march so we just go ahead and type in 5.7 that's 57 5.7 so um i'll just click on save changes And then same way we are going to click on the upgrade um, slash downgrade call. Okay, so just click on updates now. So guys, again we are back to um, the latest version of WordPress, which is the um, five point seven version so basically that's how to downgrade or upgrade your wordpress at will i really do hope you find this useful if you have any question in the course of downgrading your website you can just leave a comment for me and i will try as much as possible to get in touch in the shortest possible time so guys thank you for watching this video if it's your first time on my channel please do subscribe to this channel so that you can get updates as we'll release them. Thank you again. It's nice to have you here and do have a nice day.